bottom tier category is easily Atlas. Uh, not sure if you agree with that, but I don't think I have a single Atlas piece of gear on me ever. And I just kind of ignore them just from the ones that I've tried. Cool, cool, like, uh, manufacturer perk on them. But when it just comes down to, like, their damage and usefulness, it's just, uh, it's not there. Oh, that's just gonna be tough. Oh, let's see what we do to this tank. Oh my god! Oh my god, that's the boss. Let's go! <laughs> Oh, minus 20% damage with all guns and enemies take 50% less damage from normal bullets. That's a big bummer. That's minus 70% damage. Let's just see what it does. Let's, let's just see. Wait, it just took my action skill. That was rude as hell. Oh, uh, that's what it does. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how do we have that many negative modifiers and it's still doing work? What? Why is that a thing? That really shouldn't be. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> Yo guys, what is up? Moxie here with another Borderlands 3 video, and today, guys, um, we have a build that I didn't think I was ever going to make, because I didn't think it was doable or possible, um, and it is, um, one, in part to the new Terra anointments, um, that work really, really well with this, um, and I'll go over the mechanics of the Terra anointment that we're going to be using today. Um, one, as it works really well with this build, and two, as a showcase of what is possible um, with this new Terra anointment, um, so that you can, uh, you guys can exploit it and make your own builds with it. Um, but this is an Atlas Amara build. Um, I literally said the day before uh, streaming with this that I hated Atlas weapons um, and that they were trash. Um, that's live posted on my youtube um and then the two days later uh coming out with a atlas amara build um and this is in part because of a person in my twitch chat who popped in and said hey moxie you should give the carrier assault rifle another try um and we did and boy oh boy uh <laughs> We can do some really cool things with it. If you guys didn't know, this is the Carrier Assault Rifle. Uh, it is a Atlas weapon that fires uh, projectiles that are uh, will always be normal damage. Uh, you can't get it in an elemental. Um, that'll, you, that'll have the tracking feature. Um, the bullets don't track, but they spawn or uh, repeat and hit the enemy multiple times. Um, and then you can change its firing mode um, to shoot a tracker. Uh, it's like a shotgun tracker and then fire the bullets that'll trace. Um, for this build, we're just gonna be uh, shooting pretty much with the uh, smart bullets, but whatever fits your fancy. But this build is super cool. Um, we're gonna show off the mechanic um, that is at play here real quick before uh, we get into uh, the gear, guns, and uh, guide. But just to show this off, we talked about it in our video yesterday, but this new Terra Anointment is really, really good, guys. Um, while Terrified, deal 50% bonus cryo damage. Now, on paper, that sounds good. It sounds really good. Uh, there is uh, similar anointments for like Zane, he gets bonus 50% cryo damage when a Sentinel is active. Um, this anointment is going to give us bonus 50% cryo damage on everything we do. So we have bonus 50% on melee, bonus 50% on grenades, bonus 50% on action skill, bonus 50% on our guns. This is going to increase our damage in everything we do, everything we touch, 
like crazy. Um, and there's so many build possibilities. Um, I just wanted to highlight uh, it with this, but for example, like, oh, we need our uh, action skill. So um, we're gonna start getting some terror here. Uh, just like real quick, just showing you guys. Uh, now our melees inflict cryo. Our uh, action skill is going to inflict cryo damage, um, which is uh, super, super cool. Uh, these are our modifiers right now, guys. Uh, accuracy, uh, shield, grenade, and melee damage. Um, cry less cryo damage, less corrosive, and enemies are more accurate. Um, so we have no boost star damage. Uh, we only have negatives at the moment. And what's so crazy that we can abuse with this build is one, this gun synergizes uh, really uh, interestingly and really awesomely with ties that bind um, the uh, projectiles that it spawns um, from shooting with ties that bind and the linked enemies. Uh, we'll show you guys off. Um, but also, as you guys have seen in my videos, ties that bind, ties that bind, the damage that ties that bind does scales off of um, action skill damage. So when we go do harm, our ties that bind damage is going to uh, increase. The linked damage done to linked targets is going to increase the more action skill damage that we have. Now, if you're putting it all together, this is going to give us 50% increased damage on uh, links. So our, our action skill is now doing more damage, which means the link targets are going to be taking more damage. Um, I'll let that sink in for a second. So what's so crazy with this carrier assault rifle is these bullets that we shoot. I'm just trying to show it off to you guys. Uh, when they hit an enemy, are going to uh, fly all over the place. So they're going to uh, basically uh, scatter um, and hit all the enemies around, but when they're linked like this, um, the damage that they do to link targets and the amount of projectiles and ricocheting um, is crazy. Um, I'm still a little like unclear of exactly what's going on, but when you link targets with this, with the bonus cryo damage, um, with neutral or negative modifiers, as you guys were seeing, um, the damage that is done is, uh, is crazy. Absolutely crazy, and um, proud to say that we did Slaughter Shaft with this build. Um, so that's super cool. Um, and it's a really, really, really good mobbing weapon. Uh, we did use it against Graveward. Uh, it actually kills Graveward uh, a lot quicker than I thought it would, um, but not what this build is for. All right, so with that, let's get into the build. All right, guys, here is the build for you. So using the carrier, um, I recommend, uh, I really like this, uh, deal 50% bonus cryo damage because we're going to be doing fire um, and cryo and normal bullet damage, um, which makes this gun do a lot of damage. Uh, you can look for other things, um, try other things, but um, so far I really liked this. Um, we're using the same uh, combo that we were using uh, for our Metal Mayhem Amara build, otherwise known as the Terminator Amara build. Um, while terrified, we gain ammo regeneration. The more terror you have, the higher the bonus. And a grenade that has on action skill end, apply terror to yourself every five seconds for the next 18 seconds. Um, this is going to give us crazy uh, ammo regen and we'll never have to reload our gun. So that is really nice. Uh, this shield, um, I would I would get any other shield uh, besides this one. Uh, don't like the red card, but you, I do like this anointment. Um, but I haven't found a shield with the same anointment uh, yet or a legendary shield with the same anointment. Um, same with this grenade. Uh, you could use pretty much anything here. Um, and then, um, these weapons don't matter. Uh, you can shoot yourself uh, if you wanna be using an elemental projector. Um, there's a lot of options that work 
uh, well with this depending on what you have. Uh, magazine size is going to allow us to never reload ever, which is nice. Uh, this is boosting incendiary damage and restores 18% of our max health after killing an enemy. Um, so this is really nice. This is the relic that I was able to complete Slaughter Shaft with um, because our healing is really low. So having that healing is super nice. Um, however, um, you should be looking out for uh, Assault Rifle damage is really nice. Um, using this class mod with something like a Icebreaker Victory Rush can also be nice. Uh, if you guys have this left over from my Zane build uh, because we're uh, freezing a lot of enemies. Um, you get you start using it like a cryo grenade. Um, you're gonna get bonus damage versus frozen uh, movement speed and damage um, and bonus cryo damage. So something like this is also really nice. Uh, up to you guys. Uh, it, it, this build is flexible. Um, another thing that's flexible is you can either use a damage reduction class mod. Um, it's gonna give us something like weapon damage and assault rifle damage. Uh, this is pretty much a god rolled uh, class mod. Um, so if you guys don't have something like this, um, I would recommend using a Phase Zerker class mod. Um, I don't have one with Assault Rifle damage, um, but I did use this one um, for our Slaughter Shaft run, which worked really well as well, plus 25% weapon damage and fire rate. Um, this is going to help with our cooldown um, and give us more, uh, give us some really good weapon damage. Um, so either or. Um, most likely, uh, you guys should be rocking a Phase Zerker. Um, it's really good. The cooldown's really nice because of um, our only healing is going to be while our action skill is up. So the cooldown's super helpful. Um, the plus five in Anima isn't necessary just because we're not really focusing on our dot. Our dot isn't uh, the source of our damage. Um, it does help with Cryo, though, so uh, up to you guys on that one. The build... Uh, real quick, let's spec into it. It's very similar to what we'd be using for uh, Sniper Amara. So we're going to uh, rock that Infusion. We're going to rock Tempest. This is giving us uh, fire damage uh, on our weapon. Uh, I'm going to be boosting that fire damage. Uh, Dread, because we're going to be phase locking enemies. Um, here, you could go um, more into Anima, which is nice. Um, Ricochet is really helpful. Uh, we're not going to grab Deep Well because we aren't using an elemental weapon. So here I'll put this point into Steady Hands. Uh, sustainment from our Phase Grasp. Uh, more on that tomorrow and how that works with Infusion. Uh, definitely grab Do Harm here. Uh, we don't need Reload Speed because we're never going to be reloading uh, if you have these anointments. Um, and Transcend is going to... or Sorry, Do Harm is going to work really well with uh, the damage that... we linked enemies take um, so super nice to have do harm here uh, transcend for that crit damage which is really helpful um, grabbing cooldown because we want as much uh, cooldown to bring this up as much as possible just so we can clear areas uh, super super fast here you can use stillness of mind uh, I would recommend using stillness of mind everywhere except maybe slaughter shaft um, because we don't have a lot of healing on this build um, I would recommend uh, soul sap with Ties That Bind, um, which can be really nice during a Slaughter Shaft because it'll, it'll heal from your Ties That Bind, um, but you won't. Um, once that's over, uh, then the Soul Sap Orbs will hit you, um, so then you can heal even more, uh, which is nice, just add some survivability. Um, but for like anything else besides Slaughter Chef, I'd recommend uh, Stillness of Mind. Um, and then here we'll put this point into Violent Tapestry, three into Laid Bear. Uh, which procs uh, gonna get take any all the enemies are gonna take increased damage by 25% super nice uh, This gun damage is also really nice plus 40% um, on our action skill and we're really focusing on our action skill here with the carrier and with the uh, Combination of enemies taking increased damage all them be taking cryo damage fire damage normal bullet damage uh, This last point can go uh, really anywhere um because we're shooting so many bullets, we're not really doing much overkill damage. Um, so with this last point, I'd either put it into Remnant here, um, or if you want some more accuracy in handling, you can go that. Uh, I would just put it to Remnant because I like, I think it looks cool. Um, but we're not really going to be doing crazy overkill damage like we would be doing with like an Unforgiven or a Monocle. Uh, so less useful here. Uh, you could also just put it into 4% fire rate. 
uh, but that's also kind of negligible. Um, but yeah, using ties that bind, stillness of mind, um, and uh, fire, you can use shock if you like. Doesn't matter. Um, but <laughs> this weapon just looks so outraged. It's literally bigger than our body. Um, it's crazy. If you guys liked the uh, the Metal Mayhem or Terminator Amara build, um, this has like a very similar uh, feel and playstyle. But the bullets are flying everywhere. That you just look like a bullet witch or something crazy. Uh, <laughs> things are going everywhere, um, and. I was shocked at how much damage this does. Um, I think you guys will be really impressed and shocked by it too. So if you guys enjoyed the video, you learned anything new, uh, saw something you like, saw something interesting, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good one, guys. Peace.